Welcome to Natural Skincare School YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a manual water bath. The best water bath to use for cosmetic formulation is this type. But this is a type that is used in the lab. I have a smaller version here. It's the best because it's very easy to to operate. You can just plug it in and put in your put your oil oil ingredients oil face ingredient and water face ingredient in a beaker and you can just you can just slot it in right and turn on the water bath that is very easy to do right so if you have a lab water bath um i have a link in the description box below for where to get it so it's very easy to use if you don't have this one it makes um it may be a bit hard or you can do it manually but if you have this one it's going to save you a lot of effort because you'll be able to see measure the temperature okay temperature you can reduce it you can set it and hold your ingredient so this is this is the best to use so far okay um the name is hhsi water bath i have a link in the description box below for where you can get it oh uh, i use this in the lab also when i have a smaller project okay now if you don't have this one here is the way to set up a manual water bath a manual water bath is something starter formulators can use at least to get the job done before you can buy yourself a big uh, water bath what you need is uh, a burner you can use a burner of this type or the one with uh, the smooth top okay so you just turn it on and you set up a manual bowl you're going to need a, a bowl, a big bowl, and a smaller steamer. Okay, you're going to need a big bowl of this type and a smaller steamer to be able to. You, you have to make sure you fill your boat up close to the top. Okay, I mean, not both, your pot. Your first pot will be bigger. Okay, so let me just bring it here so you can see it. Your first pot is going to be bigger, okay, just like this one, right? So you put it on your, on the stove top, you can use your stove or you can use a burner, okay, hot plate. So if you do that, fill it up all the, a bit to the top, just a little bit, as you can see in the water here, uh, just a little bit to the top, then you put a steamer okay a steamer of this type a steamer is a pot with hole at the bottom okay you can easily get this at either your uh, walmart or any other local store so you can put a, st a steamer in a bowl as you can see some water you can see the from water inside so when you st when you turn on the when you turn on the stove top okay um or your hot plate you're going to be get if you're not going to get of course obviously some heat in here so you're going to be hot to melt either your butter or your water ingredient right so you can you can easily use this now here's the catch you don't want your you don't want your ingredients to be too hot you don't want to boil them so you have to make sure you check the temperature of your of this water okay anytime you are using manual water bath you're setting one hub like i just showed you now make sure you check the temperature to make sure it's not too hot because you don't want to boil your ingredients so the best way to do that is one moment please the best way to check the temperature is why you are doing that you get a thermometer of this type okay i have a brand by taylor i'm going to put a link in the description box below for where you can get it make sure you dip a thermometer in here to make sure you check the temperature the temperature should not exceed 80 degrees depending on what you are melting if you're melting a butter um a product with uh, that sensitive to heat of course you don't want to melt that just make sure your temperature is not up to more than 80 degrees so check it that means you have to adjust the temperature of uh, of your burner 
So this is how you set it up. Remember, if you want to set up a manual water bath for cosmetic formulation, you can. If you don't, if you don't have the type I showed you just now, this is a very easy one to use. Trust me, it's very easy. It saves you a lot of time. It's just, just turn it on. You know, just turn it on here. You know, turn it on. Adjust the temperature the way you like. Okay, you can you can set the temperature. You can set and hold it. It's the best if you are just getting started. Or if you have, um, if you have the money to invest in it now, you can get this. It saves you a lot of time. It's called HHSI water bath. I'll put a link in the description box below. So that's the first option. Now, like I said before, the manual option is to fill a, a pot with water, almost close to the top. Then you insert a steamer. Okay, so steamer is a pot with a hole at the bottom. Then you insert the steamer. As you can see, some water came all the way to a bit into the steamer. Then you can put your oil and water ingredient in, right? So that you'll be able to warm them. Remember, you have to warm your ingredients. Warm them depending on what you are making. You warm them all the way till you get to 70 degrees Celsius. When it's 70 degrees Celsius, some people do hold it. You don't have to really hold it. When it's 70, when it gets to 70 degrees, you take them out. Then you can either add the oil to water or water to oil, depending on what you are formulating. So that's exactly what you do. This is just one of the requirements for following through our formula. Air had natural skincare school. We teach you how to make skincare products with formula. Each of our formula comes with step-by-step -step instruction for making a stable um, and, a, and a professional and stable skincare product that's how we operate here as skin uh, natural skincare school so this is one of the first procedure for making your product you have to combine the oil face ingredients and water facing ingredient in two different beakers you have to warm them when they reach 70 degree you take them out and you pour either either into uh, each other if you're doing oil and water em emulsion you're going to pour pour oil into the water face. If you are doing water in oil emulsion, that's for thick cream like uh, body butter or balms, you're going to pour the water face into the oil face. But that you're going to learn in, uh, just make sure you grab one of our formulas. That's how you're going to learn how to formulate safe and stable skincare product. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in another video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more effective professional videos on how to make stable and safe skincare products. Thank you for watching.